Hi, today I want to show you how to use the Glyphs palette that's a new feature in Shortcuts Lot 3 for Windows, or Shortcuts Lot 4 for Windows and Mac. It's great for using your fancy fonts like Samantha and Cantoni, and I want to get you acquainted with how easy it is to use. So the first thing you want to do is select your font. You don't have to do this, but it saves time later. So I'm going to just select my text tool so that I get the text palette up here, and there's a number of ways I can select the font. I can go and scroll through this. I can type the first letter. Um, both of those are a little bit slow. I have um, favorited some fonts. Once you select a font and you click this button, it will go to favorites. So you can change the view to favorites and then you just have a short list to pick from. So that's what I recommend. There's also another cool tip that works on the Mac. I'm not sure if it works on the on Windows, but you can select fonts from the help menu. If you type in the first part of a font, you'll get the menu command that brings that up and you just have to click that to select the font. So that's another quick way to select fonts in shortcut slot. The reason I'm doing that is because the font selection does not work where we're going. I want to select the window menu item and then library. I'm going to bring up this window and then you're going to look for the fonts tab and click that. You'll see that Samantha Pro uh, Upright is selected here because I selected it here. If I hadn't I would get whatever I use last and I'd have to scroll through this whole list and it doesn't even work to type in the first letter. Very slow and painful and I don't recommend it. So that's why I'm giving you the tip to choose the font first before you even put the text cursor on the mat. So when you get this, this, you'll see that you can change the size of the, the glyphs. You can scroll through, and for Samantha, you can see all the thousands of options you have here. So you can just get started and type your, your word. So let's just say I want to do mom. I double-click this. I don't know what my cursor is doing up here. Uh, I'll stick it where we can see. And then you would, let's just say I want to type a regular O. I don't want to have to scroll through. So I should just be able to type, yes, with the text cursor selected, I can just type the next letter. Then I can go through and, and see what these look like, trial and error. I just backspace if I don't like it. So I can go and try each of these. and when I get it like I want it, I can close this out of the way and I can enlarge it. I should hold down the shift key to keep it selected and you'll see that the only thing left to do is to weld this. You've got two different ways to weld in Circuit Slot. You can select your item and go to the wrench and then just click the weld button. You won't see it on your screen but you will see it when you go to preview that's a nice option because the weld is not permanent. I can still edit that text, which is a nice feature to have. If you need a more permanent weld, like if you're going to export this to SVG or something like that, uh, share it with another person who might not have this font, then you're going to want to use uh, under path union. And then you can weld that way. You'll see there that that became welded. So that's all there is to choosing the uh, fancy font glyphs in shortcut slot and I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.